Welcome to our channel Learning Math. In this video, we're going to learn about all special lines that can be drawn in a triangle, median, height, bisector, and perpendicular bisector. Let's start together. The altitude or height is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex to the line facing it. But let's see together how to construct the altitudes in an acute triangle. What's the main purpose of acute triangle? Acute triangle, all its angles are acute angles less than 90 degrees. Let's start by drawing the first height. As you see, we put the set square exactly passing through the vertex of this triangle. From the other side, it should be aligned with the line facing this vertex. So here, it should be aligned with this line. We will move the set square so that it will be aligned. As you see, now we can draw our height, the first height. So the height or altitude is the perpendicular from the vertex to the line facing it. Let's start by the second one. As you see, we want it from this vertex to the line facing it. So the set square from one side should be passing through the vertex, from the other uh, side should be aligned with the side opposite to this vertex. Here we can draw the second height. Now we want it from the third vertex to the side facing it exactly as you see the set square is aligned on this side and passing through the given vertex. If you know something, the three heights intersected at the same point. This intersection of the three heights is said to be the orthocenter. Why orthocenter? Ortho means orthogonal. We have perpendiculars means orthogonals. The intersection of these three heights is said to be the orthocenter. It's the meeting of the orthogonal projections of the three vertices. It's exactly inside that triangle. Well, what about obtuse triangles? First, what are the obtuse triangles? When we have a triangle having an obtuse angle greater than 90 degrees, this triangle is said to be an obtuse triangle since it has an obtuse angle. Let's start by drawing the three heights. What should we notice in this triangle? The set square should be exactly aligned with the side facing the vertex. Here we have drawn the first height. What about the second? If you know something, we want the second height. It should be exactly passing through the vertex and aligned with the side facing it. But however we move the set square, it will never be aligned with this side. That's why we should produce the side in order to get the set square aligned with it. We should put the ruler exactly aligned with the side. Now we produce this side in order to draw the second height. If you note here, when we produce this side, the set square can be now aligned with this side. It's from the other side passing through the vertex. Now we can draw our height. As you see, we have drawn the second height. Now we want the third height from this vertex to the side facing it. Here it's aligned, but not with the line facing it. It's aligned with the adjacent side, so we cannot uh, draw our height. What should we make in this case? We should move the set square so that it will be aligned with this side, which is facing the given vertex. However, we move the set square, it will never be aligned with the side unless we produce it. So we will produce this side in order to draw the third As you see, we can write, uh, we can draw it right now. Here is the third height. Something very important. So when we have an obtuse triangle, which has obtuse angle, in order to draw the heights relative to the sides of this obtuse angle, we should produce these two sides and then draw their relative heights. Well, what will happen if we produce these three heights? They should intersect at the same point. As you see, when we produce these sides, they intersected at the same point. This point is said to be the orthocenter of this triangle. It's exactly outside the obtuse triangle. So the acute triangle has its orthocenter inside. The obtuse triangle has its orthocenter outside. 
Now let's start by something which is very important. When we have a right triangle, where is uh, its ortho center located? We have a right triangle here, we have 90 degrees, the two sides are perpendicular to each other. And we say that the height relative to the first side is this one, and the height relative to this side is the second one. These are two heights intersecting at the point, so the third height should be passing through the same point. That's why we say the ortho center of the right triangle is its principal vertex exactly at the 90 degrees. Now let's learn together about the second side in a triangle, the second sorry, special line that can be drawn in a triangle is the median. What's the median of a triangle? The median joins the vertex to the midpoint of the side facing it. Median comes from mid, midpoint. So here, we should first of all uh, locate the midpoint of the side, then we join this midpoint to the vertex as you see here. This is what we call the median. The three medians in a triangle should intersect at the same point, but first of all, let's learn together how to construct the midpoint. Well, if we have a side of length, for example, 7.6 cm, what should be its half? First, 7.6 cm means we have 7 cm and 6 mm. What's the half of 7 cm? Isn't it 3.5 cm? What's the half of 6 mm? Isn't it 3 mm? What? What's the meaning of 3.5 cm? It's 3 cm and 5 mm. Now we have calculated the half. Look at them. How many centimeters are we having? 3 cm and how many millimeters if we add them 5 plus 3 will give us 8 mm. So the half of 7.6 cm will be 3 cm and 8 mm we say it's 7.8 cm. Another method to calculate or to locate sorry the midpoint using ruler and compass. As you see here if we have a side we want to locate it's midpoint we should open the compass more than half this side we put the needle at the first extremity then we will put it at the other extremity here we're going to draw the first arc that is produced on both sides now we're going to put the needle on the second extremity and draw the other arc as you see these two arcs are intersecting here, if we join them, we will get the perpendicular bisector. We don't need to join them. We just put the ruler to locate their intersection with the side, which will be its midpoint. Here, as you see, we're going to locate the midpoint of this side. We just mark the intersection with the side to locate its midpoint. Well, as you see here, we have a triangle. We have located the three midpoints of its sides. Now we're going to draw its three medians. Sure, we uh, join the vertex to the midpoint of the side facing it. Let's just start together. Here we have drawn the first median, the second one, and the third median. The three medians here intersected at the same point, which is said to be the centroid or center of gravity for this triangle. Here's something which is very important. The perpendicular bisectors of the sides of a triangle will intersect at its circumcenter. If you want to understand it more, you can uh, watch the video. I will put its uh, link in the description below about the constructing circles circumscribed about triangles. Here, I will view it quickly. We draw the perpendicular bisector for each of the three sides of this triangle. These three perpendicular bisectors will intersect at the point which is said to be the circumcenter of the triangle. It's the center of the circle that is exactly circumscribed about this triangle. What? What about the bisector of an angle? The bisector is the line that cuts an angle into two equal parts. 
How to draw the bisector? We draw arcs on each side of the angle. Then we put the needle of the compass at the intersection of each arc with the side to draw an arc. Now we put it where it cuts the second side and we should draw the second arc. We cannot change the opening of uh, the compass. We join them to get the bisector of this angle. Why did we learn it? In a triangle, if we draw the three bisectors, they will intersect at the center of the circle inscribed of this uh, triangle. It's said to be the in center. Let's see it together. As you see, now we are drawing the bisector of the first angle. Then the second one, we just draw the arcs. Where they intersect, we join them to get the bisector. Now we're going to draw the bi third bisector, which is for the third angle. When we join them, we will get the center of the circle, which is inscribed in this triangle. We just put the needle of the compass at the intersection of the three bisectors. And we will open the compass to touch the side of this triangle exactly. As you see here, this is wrong. It's not touching the side. It, the circle will be outside this triangle. So keep in mind, please, we open it to just touch the side of this triangle. Now we can draw the circle that is exactly inscribed in this triangle. So the intersection of the three bisectors is said to be the center of the circle inscribed in a triangle. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.